Well, today we're fishing for uh, Spanish mackerel. We're about six miles out, out of Swanee. And we're going to troll first, then we might do some casting for them and, and even try some fly fishing, maybe. But we just got here, so we'll get back to you if we hook into anything. Yeah, we got one. It's the first one. It looks like a little guy. Yeah, he's a little guy. Ain't real little. He's edible. First one, though. At least we're not skunked, right? What we're fishing with today, we're going to fish with these spoons first. Sometimes we use a... Man, he's making a mess. Hooking right in the tongue. You gonna bleed him? Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Go ahead. Just whip yours in. Go ahead. That's all right. Let them in. Ah, it's a nice one, that one is. Yes. Okay, let's get him put away and get some more. See all our waypoints on the chart recorder here, and there are places we've caught fish before. And I just troll from one to the other, and uh, hopefully get lucky. But today they were scattered out pretty good. I was going to try some fly fishing, but they weren't bunched up enough. We would catch one fish and troll for quite a while, then catch another one. So they weren't really bunched up like they usually are. No schools of bait fish out here today, which is rare. So we're going to give the fly fishing a try next time. There's one. Yeah, we moved a little bit, not far. No bait pods out now. There's usually a bunch of bait fish out here. Let's see, here he comes. He comes to the boat. These, these are ones Joyce likes to eat. These are the good eating size, she says. Just like that. Yeah, you got him. I think. I don't know, maybe not, huh? Let's see. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Get it up. It's a ladyfish. Uh, Crazy ladyfish. I knew it didn't feel right. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of grass out here today, so we'll be using these weedless spoons. And these work out really well if you got grass and you're trolling through grass. They work out really, really well. And a 10 inch piece of wire with the uh, ball bearing swivel and they're important these ball bearing swivels if you're trolling with spinning rods they'll twist all up if you don't have a good swivel 
So that's a whole setup you need. They're good all the time. Sometimes we troll with our bucktail jigs that we make. And we tip them with a uh, mackerel belly. But we just started off with this today because of the grass. And these work out real well. There he is. That's a nice one. He just woke up. He's almost a netter. Let's see. I, I can lift him in, I guess. Watch out. Oh, you've been doing cleaning blood up. Yeah. Then I won't have to do it when we get in. Wow, he's the biggest one. Yeah, he's pretty. Isn't he pretty? Yeah, he's pretty. Maybe this is the last one of the day, huh? That's a nice one. Look at him. Look, you can see the bottom. Watch. Well, how'd that get open? Oh, my wrist. He might eat it. Yeah, it's shiny. I don't want to hit you. Yeah. You could have netted that one, I guess. Yeah, he was he was big. He's he's bigger than your last one. Yeah. Well, the fishing sort of shut down. We haven't caught anything in a half hour, so we're going to head in now. You can see Joy, she's just, I don't know if she's awake or asleep. But we're going to go in. We got a trailer over here at Swanee, and we never do any work on it. We're always fishing, so we're going to go in and just try to do a, little, a couple of little jobs that need to be done on it. But we did good. We caught quite a few mackerel. So we'll, you know, show you the mackerel in a minute. I don't know how many we actually caught. You know, they're in the box now. But we're heading in right now. Joyce, you're going to show me how you're going to cook those mackerel? Yes, today we're going to have pizza fish. It's a recipe I made up myself, and of course I write, write everything down and put it in these little plastic sleeves in the notebook. You start off with a can. It's a 10-ounce can. I think I'm pronouncing it right, called Rotel, mild, diced tomato and green chili. You put that in your pan. I've got this cooked down a little bit because it takes a little bit of time. What you're going to do, you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, corn two tablespoons of sugar, a uh, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Then you'll thicken that. Uh, what you have to do sometimes, you might have to add a little bit of water. You don't want it to get uh, super thick, so you want about that consistency for the sauce. Then once it gets down to that level, you're going to add... Two cups of chopped spinach if you like spinach you don't have to put the spinach in there and you just cook that and let that cook down till the spinach cooks a little bit and then once that gets the spinach gets a little less leafy then that's going to sit there and that's you're going to use that just like. this is what you want your sauce to look like this about that thick with the spinach cooked down in it. 
and you turn everything off, then you prepare your fish. Uh, we've used four fillets of mackerel. You're going to put uh, lots of garlic powder if you like it, and you just sprinkle that over the fish. Then you take your pepper. If you don't have a grinder, you can use regular pepper. And then you drizzle it with olive oil. And take your pastry brush and just brush it in. After you put your olive oil and you coat the fish with that, you want to put it under the broiler for about two minutes up on the high shelf. Good, these are ready for the next step. We're going to put it back in the oven under the broiler for about a half a minute. That's to get the sauce a hotter, um, so the hot sauce is on the hot side. Take your cheese, the cheese of your choice. I guess I'm pronouncing the mozzarella. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but and just sprinkle that on it. Get back under the broiler until the cheese melts. It takes, you gotta keep an eye on it because it will burn. It takes maybe anywhere from a half a minute to a minute. That's it. Yep. What's it called? Pizza Pe fish. Pizza fish. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something different. Yeah. Anyway, it looks good and smells good. Yeah, then we just put on the plates and put our potatoes out. Well, it looks good, Joyce. This uh, pizza fish. And what kind of potatoes you got there? Uh, we're made of oven fried potatoes with steamed vegetables for tonight's dinner. Well, if you enjoyed our videos, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.